Hello everyone, it's Friday the 1st of April. Today I feel good news is coming in. You're going to be feeling much better if you've been going through ascension or anything physically. It just feels like a big breath of fresh air today and that's connected with the new moon which is about creation and movement and change and you know really moving things forward with this Aries energy. So we're going to bring in the Sacred Traveller Oracle by Denise Lynn. So thank you angels. What do we need to know on this day? So the card jumped out so yeah look at this for powerful we've got staying focused hold the course so the angels are saying whatever you're dreaming about right now whatever you are focused on whatever you are manifesting whatever you're intending don't give up hold the course keep that vision this is when we ask for it and then we believe it and then we receive it so you're in the phase now where you've been asked to have unwavering faith because your dream or your goal or your desire is manifesting. So hold the vision. This is a lot like Sagittarius energy because, you know, Sagittarians are archers and they hold that vision in their mind. You know, they hold the vision a lot like Katniss in the Hunger Games when she pulls back the bow and arrow and she focuses on what she wants. She doesn't let anything going on around her distract her from the target. And that's called unwavering faith. So stay focused because what you're dreaming about is coming. And you're being reminded that during that wait period, you know, whether it's waiting for your twin flame union or waiting for your dream to manifest or waiting for the next step, you are learning so much during that time. It's a transition time, a time of learning and a time of growth, a time where we learn to trust in our psychic powers and our intuition and who we are. And we find sanctuary in that. It says opening to your spiritual source. So this is about trusting the universe, trusting the angels, trusting our spirit guides and the signs that we see. And that's opening us up to our spiritual source because God is our source. So you're realizing more and more that anything is possible in this lifetime. There's only limits created in the mind. This is a limitless, vast, open, powerful universe where all is possible with God. So find sanctuary in your truth. Find sanctuary in, you know, the psychic wisdom and intelligence and the power within you that connects you with source. You know, this may be that you're talking to angels today. You're doing some cards for yourself. You may be learning a new skill. You may be learning tarot. You may be learning, you know, Reiki or healing. You're doing things now for you and that's moving you into your power and that's helping you to stay the course. So find the course and stay the course. That means find your vision, find your center and hold that vision. Don't let anything knock you off your path. Don't let anything distract you or, you know, tell you it's not real or you can't have this because you can. And the signs will really help you to have faith. You know, the signs keep us strong. When we're asking for something, we see previews of it coming in. We see signs about it. Sometimes we can see it. It's a sign from the universe to trust and to hold that cause and to find sanctuary within yourself. So you may be meditating today. You may be finding sanctuary with your twin flame on the 5D realm, connecting with them there, talking about the future, having that vision. It's a great day to update your vision board or put things in your creation box. Things are manifesting for you. You may have received signs about that. Maybe, you know, you've booked that trip or you've sorted out that retreat or you're doing something for you. And that's proving to you that this journey is real, that you can have what you want, that you can create your own destiny and you can move towards your dreams. So trust in that today because magic is flowing in. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.